Well, we're now getting a new warning about what might be a staple in your family's diet. Consumer Reports now claims that levels of cancer-linked arsenic in rice and rice products is getting higher. Tonight, our dear Riley's taking action for you with a safer alternative for children they should be eating instead. Rice comes in lots of varieties, and it's a common ingredient in many packaged foods. Consumer Reports analyzed Food and Drug Administration data on more than 600 foods that contain rice and found some with troubling levels of inorganic arsenic. We found that hot rice cereal and rice pasta can have much more arsenic than we saw in our previous tests. So we now recommend that children rarely eat these foods, which means not more than twice per month. And Consumer Reports recommends children under the age of five limit rice drinks, rice cakes, and ready-to-eat rice cereals. Levels of arsenic vary. We based our recommendations on the higher levels in each food group to offer consumers the best protection. As for rice itself, Consumer Reports lab test in 2012 found high levels of inorganic arsenic in white rice and even higher levels in brown rice. Arsenic in our food is a real public health problem, and we think it's important to eat less of it. Consumer Reports has tested other types of rice and other grains and has found several alternatives with much lower levels of inorganic arsenic. Some good choices? Sushi rice from the U.S. and white basmati rice from California, India, and Pakistan. On average, they had half the amount of arsenic as most other types of rice. Other good options? Bulgur barley, and farro, and gluten-free grains like amaranth, buckwheat, millet, and quinoa. If you eat brown rice, Consumer Reports found brown basmati rice from California, India, and Pakistan have about one-third less inorganic arsenic than other brown rice. To see other stories from our partners at Consumer Reports and to get the latest recommendations on how much and what kind of rice to eat, just go to our website, abcactionnews.com. I'm Dia Riley, taking action for you.